Judiciary Committee will come to order. Democrats leading the first part of today's hearing zeroed in on the 10 instances where President Trump was accused of trying to obstruct former special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. The president must be held accountable one way or the other. Most spent time highlighting damning portions of the dense 448-page report, which many in the general public haven't even read yet. The Trump campaign wasn't exactly reluctant to take Russian help. You wrote uh, it expected it would benefit electorally from information stolen and released through Russian efforts. Isn't that correct? That's correct. But Mueller repeatedly stopped short of even uttering the word impeachment. He pushed back hard against members of both parties who were upset he did not make a decision one way or the other about if the president obstructed justice. We cannot indict a sitting president. So one of the tools that a prosecutor would use is not there. The veteran prosecutor was also unafraid to tell members of Congress that either he could not or should not discuss something. Uh, that's beyond my purview. Well, I can't get into it. I'm just going to believe it in, uh, as it appears in the report. This was particularly frustrating to Republican members who sought to discredit the origins of the investigation into the Trump campaign and Russia interference. But Mueller would not discuss the so-called Steele dossier, a controversial report alleging misconduct and conspiracy by then-candidate Trump. And I am not going to answer that question, sir. You had two years to investigate. Not once did you consider it worthy to investigate how an un unverified document that was paid for by a political opponent was used to obtain a warrant to spy on the opposition political campaign. Did you do any investigation in that whatsoever? I do not accept your characterization of what occurred. 